guys and welcome back to the Mount Yorkshire and welcome back to something a little bit different on the channel today. I thought it'd be quite nice to open the room up to a discussion. So I saw on uh, Autosports a couple of days ago that there are talks that motorsport could be shortlisted for the 2028 LA Olympic Games. Um, yeah, it, it opened up quite a number of questions in my own mind as to how it could happen and what could it be involved in and things like that. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be a nice little chatty thing, give my thoughts. You can leave your thoughts in the comments section as well, of course. And just see if we can come to some sort of mutual agreement. So yeah, my thoughts overall is, initially it sounds like a fantastic idea, doesn't it? Let's take everything else out of the equation. Let's just think the world's best drivers representing their country in the most equal machinery you're ever going to find. And may the best man or woman win. That is how it would work, wouldn't it? But then you've just got to think, well, how are you going to police it? You know, is, is the cars going to be a completely standard setup? You know, is there literally going to be no room for manoeuvre? All the cars are identical in, in terms of setup, wings, settings, everything. You know, is it going to be that identical when it comes to the programme of um, how it works for a weekend? Obviously, it's Olympics. It can be hosted on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if they like. They can do whatever, but... In terms of how we normally see a Formula One race weekend or any type of weekend in motorsport, you have at least one practice session, at least one qualifying session, and then at least one race. Would there be options there to maybe only have, you know, two sets of tyres for that weekend and you choose when you want them? Or would it have to be very much a new set every session to keep everything consistent and even? Uh, would, how would it work? Would it just be one major motorsport team? Uh, such as a Formula One team that would have to run all the cars. You know, if you've got, I don't know, say 18 cars on the grid, 16 cars on the grid from, you know, representing each different country, would it have to be the country itself that runs their own car? And in turn, you've got different mechanics, or would they have to make it a sterile environment where it is one team that is neutral to every single driver in that grid that... that runs the team i don't know it would it would raise a lot more questions and i think as you get further down the line you know in terms of if it does get shortlisted what would be the next hurdle to overcome and i think there's a lot of hurdles for it to actually make sense uh, of course the olympic games has always never had motorized in in their sports you know everything has always been to do with the strength of the person the ability of the person you know cycling for example it's always been about how fast you can pedal you know uh, in terms of skiing it's all about your ability in skiing even though you've got to use equipment to ski rowing it's all about who's the best rower who can go for the longest who's got the most longevity and although motorsport is a physical sport you've got a lot of other factors there to consider when you're racing you really have so yeah, I just think it's a really interesting subject, and for me personally, I mean, it hasn't yet been shortlisted, they're just expecting it to be shortlisted, so I mean, it's even, you know, it's even in the early phases of it, it's just rumours that it might even get shortlisted to then get into, you know, there's a lot more further to go than just shortlisting, and then that means it's in. Uh, there's going to be a hell of a lot of discussions and topics. Um, it, I, For me personally, though, I just think it, it would not be viable whatsoever um you know as mentioned keeping everything on level playing fields is virtually impossible i mean to the point where at the minute we don't even know what level of motorsport is going to be in the olympics should it be shortlisted and should it get the green light um we don't know everyone's obviously already tipping it'll be like an a1 grand prix style which if you didn't watch the a1 grand prix it was an event that was hosted where a country a driver represented their country as opposed to represented themselves. So you had Great Britain, Brazil, America, you had India. Uh, there was even uh, Pakistan, wasn't there, at some points. So there was China, there was Malaysia. There was basically a driver represented their country and not themselves. So uh, it, was a C it was a championship that had its highs and had its very much lows. But everyone's already expecting it to be at that level. Now, could, could realistically the Olympics host 
a race at that level with those high speed cars. I mean, they weren't much slower than Formula One cars. They were sort of like F2, really. Um, if we're going to go with pace that way, uh, they have V10 engines in them. They were, they're absolutely mental cars, to be honest. Yeah, they were sort of like closer to F1 than they were of F2. They're in that stop gap in the middle there. Um, would the Olympics be able to host? a race that was able to host that Caligar. I mean, let's not forget, it's been held in Los Angeles. So, of course, everything gets shipped around the United States. It was like us when we had the London Olympics in 2012. A lot of the swimming and diving events were actually hosted in Sheffield, which was local to us. So, yeah, just because it's in LA doesn't mean the race has to be in LA. But how many circuits are in Formula One uh, at the moment now, well of course we have a couple of street circuits, they'd be off the calendar straight away because they wouldn't be able to build a street circuit just to host one race. Uh, so that would leave you with Kota or Indianapolis, which aren't exactly close to LA in any way, shape or form either, but yeah, it could be doable. There is some you know, circuits that are able to host cars at high speed events. Um, but then you come to the driver roster itself, which would very much depend on when the actual uh, Olympics were hosted and whether it would clash with the likes of the main f events where you would like to get the drivers from, which would of course be Formula One, IndyCar, for, Amer uh, for Australia for example, you'd be looking at drivers in the V8 Supercar Series. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of options there for big motorsport events and the chances of those motorsport events clashing when the Olympics are on are quite high. So, would you end up with a, a scenario where of you could have Lewis Hamilton in the uh, Great British car, representing Great Britain, of course, but then you could even get a factor where we get to Dutch, we get to Holland, and we think, well, hang on a minute, that's got to be Max Verstappen, and we see Guido van der Gaard turn up instead, because Max and the Red Bull have not allowed Max Verstappen to host for his country, to host for his nation, because they don't want to put the risk on him getting injured in a, in a non-championship event, effectively, for them. You know, the team is effectively British. It's owned by an Austrian. It's Max Verstappen would only be representing the Dutch people. So would they really want him to do that? You know, it could be the same for, Mac, for, for Lewis Hamilton as well, of course. Mercedes might not honour him to go and do it, even if he's free. Or could you end up in a situation where you do end up with all the Formula One drivers, but the IndyCar drivers, the Americans, and for such as like Scotty McLaughlin, that would represent um, is he in Kiwi, New Zealand. Uh, I forget, I, I see, if I get that wrong, I apologise greatly, but I'm just thinking off the top of my head here. But, you know, you could end up with him being stuck in IndyCar. You could end up with Marcus Ericsson. Well, I'd like to represent Sweden. Well, yeah, I'm sorry, but you've got an IndyCar race that weekend, so you can't do it. And then who do we have instead? You know, it could end up being a case of you could end up with 16, 18 drivers on the grid representing their countries. But would they necessarily be the best driver for their country to represent? You know, not holding anything back and not holding people's talents and abilities back, but... We all want to see Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton go wheel to wheel in the same equal machinery um, and go, be able to absolutely duel it out and battle it out for overall victory to see who is the best of the best. But if you've only got one of those drivers or none of those drivers, it would all just fall a little bit flat, wouldn't it? I mean, it would just be so difficult uh, to do overall. And like I say, the, the, we don't even know what calibre motorsport would even be shortlisted to enter in there's also been talks about it being electric karting and getting youths and junior drivers in to try and push them forward i would be absolutely all for that to be honest i think you know wherever karting it can be an experience for drivers and and especially for the youth to get something that would be highly recognizable as in representing your own country winning a gold medal or winning any type of medal you know, it would it would be a really nice thing to do. It would be special. So, if it was going to be for juniors and for youths and have a, a lower category of formula or karting in general, then I would be absolutely all for that. I really, really would. Um, yeah, it just opens a lot of questions, doesn't it? I think it opens a lot more questions than answers. And I, I think at the end of the day, the the overall structure of it all would be about how well we can police this so it is as equal and as fair for everyone possible that's competing because as we know formula one anything can happen in formula one and it usually does anything can happen in motorsport and it usually does 
And it would be a great shame if we had one of those crazy races and it just so happened to happen at the Olympic Games where a driver that was running around in 18th position, running around at the back, could end up getting a medal because something happens outside of everyone else's control, such as rain in the race. You know, do they have wet tyres? Are they allowed pit stops? And this driver ends up carving his way through the field to finish third. It, it would really, as much as everyone loves to support an underdog, the Olympics is all about being the best of the best. And I think if you were to have an incident on track that brought out a safety car and advantaged one driver and disadvantaged another, it, it wouldn't be the right environment for that to happen. If you do that in a Formula 1 season or across an IndyCar season or across a V8 supercar season, across a touring car season, whatever... You have 20 odd races and of course every race now and again you have one of those crazy races where the people that you expect to win end up out of the race or finish well down the order. Hockenheim 2019 for example, uh, what else have we got there where we get some crazy podiums, that was the first one that sprung to mind but you know Brazil. Uh, what was year was that 2020 where we saw Pierre Gasly on the podium, There's there's a lot of crazy races that can happen where drivers do get on the podium that didn't necessarily deserve to be on the podium but when you're running over a championship ac across 20 plus races it all mitigates itself out and everyone gets the right amount of luck as the season goes along whereas in one race where everything's decided on a medal and you will win for your country would you really want to see a crazy race where it rains halfway through or would you like where a safety car comes out and advantages some drivers, disadvantages others. Would you love to see the two best drivers going absolutely at it and then one have a brake failure and then hit the other car ahead and take them both out? It would be so hard for that to happen and it would be so heartbreaking to see it happen, especially at an Olympic Games where you're representing your country. So yeah, those are my thoughts and feedback anyway. That is what sprung to my mind straight away when I saw the news. And as much as I would absolutely love to see it, and I am not against it happening, I just think it would be so difficult to police and control to a phase where every single driver will get equal opportunity and be able to actually represent their country to the best of their ability. That would, that would be my overall deciding factor. And it wouldn't just be in terms of the mechanics, it would also be in terms of the event itself, how it's held, how it's run... Um, and also in terms of motorsport being motorsport where you could have one wild race and what's to say it wouldn't happen at the Olympics and you end up with all the best drivers sat on the sidelines and maybe the ones that didn't really deserve a medal achieving gold. So there we then guys, those are my thoughts and feedback on the Olympic Games potentially allowing motorsport to become a official Olympic sport. Uh, like I said, I'd be interested to know your thoughts and feedback in the comment as well, of course. Do let me know. I am not against motorsport being in the Olympics. No way. I would absolutely love it. It would be great. It, you know, I would be really, I would be watching that. And I would be represent. I would be cheering on our country like I do for most of the other sports. And I think it would be a nice event to see. But I just think there's too much in the ways of how you would police it overall and how you make sure uh, drivers didn't just get a random advantage here and there. But yeah, as always, let me know your thoughts and feedback down below. I look forward to seeing what you think. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And as always, much love.